Shelton Benjamin once upon a time held the United States Championship for 240 days. Incredible. And don't let your past with Shelton Benjamin cloud your judgment, Byron. He is an absolutely incredible athlete, professional wrestler here in sports entertainment, the gold standard. Shelton's one of these athletes that makes everything he does look almost effortless. Too easy. He's that good. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. What offense Shawn Michaels is showing at this point. So painful. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Gets him with a knee there. to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. That's it. It's over. It's over. One move after the other. It's devastating. According to historians, the twisted metal that we see as part of steel cages today dates back 80 years. To settle a dispute between competitors Jack Bloomfield and Count Pietro Rossi, the two men inside a ring surrounded by chicken wire. At first, these types of matches were referred to as fence matches. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Reverses that one. Corey, you gave us an impressive history of the origins of the steel cage. Age match. I'd like to point out to our viewers that from the 1960s through the mid 1980s, chain link fences were used to enclose the ring for WWE steel cage matches. A superstar could win by pinfall, submission, or by exiting the cage through the cage door or climbing over the top of the cage. We should also point out, Michael, that the way to win a steel cage match can vary by match depending on what was agreed to before contracts to compete in the match were signed. Talking about history, at WrestleMania 2, WWE unveiled the redesigned steel cage with solid steel blue bars before returning to chain link mesh in the late 1990s. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Shawn Michaels hits the jackpot with a huge move. He's really looking to prove a point here. Threw caution to the wind on that one. Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will... Super kick! You have to like his chances here. Man, I wonder if Benjamin can really survive this. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet in height. For almost 35 years, a select group of high flyers have taken their aerial assaults to greater heights. And when I say that, I mean superstars climb to the top of the steel cage, the real high rent district, and dive off onto their opponent. And that all started with one man in October of 1983, Jimmy Superfly Snuckle. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. You look over the years to people like Jeff and Matt Hardy, Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle and Chris Jericho, they continued to push the envelope and executed unbelievable attacks from the top of the cage. And watch Rikishi take flight off the top of the steel cage. Wow. I love these cage matches. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. 
especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. And gentlemen, Shelton Benjamin may be fading away here. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to think offensively to figure out how they're going to escape the cage. They must think defensively at the same time so they can prevent their opponent from getting out of the cage first and winning the match. While a superstar must become comfortable with escaping the cage by both exiting the cage door and by climbing over the top of the cage, they must also be aware of their attributes and what's best for them. Let's just say if you're a giant like The Big Show, The Undertaker, Kane, or even Braun Strowman, it's preferred to exit through the cage door. And this has just been a hellacious match inside this incredibly unforgiving structure. This is some great offense by Shawn Michaels. The showstopper wants to put an end to the show right here. And the offensive display by Shawn Michaels. One offense Shawn Michaels is showing at this point. Well executed. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. And the offensive display by Shawn Michaels. Look out! That's a brutal way to have to land on the canvas. And it's Michael showing some agility. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Oh boy, he is rolling. Big move, Shelton Benjamin. This might be it. Cover him, cover him. That might have done it, Cole. Shelton Benjamin is rolling now. His shoulders are down. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Oh, man. The showstopper wants to put an end to the show right here. I can't believe this one's still in oh, oh, drop. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? I don't know how much more damage one person can take. I don't care how tough you are. Ooh! Dodges the bullet there. Perfectly executed. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Yes! Unreal performance. Let's take a little look at some of the action from that match. Wow. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here is your winner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn what a ferocious conclusion to this steel cage match. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight.